morning TCC kids. It's art time with teacher Kathy. I hope you're all doing well and getting all your homework done. And maybe some of you um, can use the art projects that you've been doing for your schoolwork. It might count, I don't know. But anyway, today what we're going to make are bumblebees. All right, and the reason I chose to make a bumblebee today is because it is spring and all the bees that you're seeing outside are helping to pollinate the flowers. What you will need today is a paper plate. You'll need some yellow paint to paint your your paper plate yellow okay if you don't have yellow paint you can use a yellow marker or you can also use a yellow crayon all right and then you're also going to need paper you'll need your white paper for eyeballs you'll need the black paper for the B stripes and then you will need um, colored paper whatever color you choose that you want your wings to be okay and then you will also need a pencil, black magic marker, scissors, and some glue. And it also helps if you have something round that you can trace around to make the bee's eyeballs. If you don't, no worries, just draw a circle. And they don't have to be even either. So, get all the items that you need for art, and let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is with your paper plate you're going to paint it yellow and I'm just going to continue the video so you can pause the video until you're at the point where you have your yellow plate and then you can play it again. So after you've gotten your yellow plate we are going to now make the stripes. Um, cut out the stripes for your bumblebee, okay? So here's the bumblebee again. All right, so right now we're going to be cutting out the stripes for the bumblebee. You don't need to make it even with your plate because what you'll do is you'll just cut around the plate, okay? And then we're also going to cut out the little stinger, all right? So that's what we're going to do right now. So use the, here with your paper. Make sure that make sure that it's going to be a little bit longer than your plate, okay, when you measure. So, I'm just going to cut two long strips out. Just one strip and two strips. And then we're just going to put them on. Glue them on the plate, like this. So there's my first strip that I've glued on, okay. You'll see that it's a little longer than the plate. And then I'm gonna glue on the second strip. Onto the plate. All right. So now that you have your strips on the plate, we are going to, see how they're longer? We're gonna cut around, cut around the plate like this, okay? So you can make them even. There's those two. And then we'll go on this side and cut the strips. So you can make them even with your plate. There, see? So now that we have our two strips on, my glue, I still have my glue issue. Okay, so there's your two strips. Now we're going to cut out the stinger. So with the stinger, you just use a little piece of black paper. You are gonna cut a triangle. And there, I've got my stinger. See, so you have a little triangle. So we're gonna glue the stinger 
on the bottom of the plate in the middle. There. And then we're going to stick it in the middle of your plate like that. So now you've got your stinger on. Now we are going to make the wings. So with the wings, get your colored paper. And I'm going to make green wings this time. I had blue for the sample and I'm going to make green. And so I'm going to fold it, not in half, but in a quarter, because I do want my wings that long. So about one, two, three, about maybe four inches long. And here's a little trick for you. So you're going to, you can either trace it with your pencil or you can just free cut your wings out. So I'm gonna just free cut it. So I'm gonna cut like this, cut around Here's a, to make my wing. Like this, there. And so now that I cut the wings out, they look like this. And here's the trick, since you needed two, just open it up and now it looks like a butterfly. And then just cut right down the center and you just made your two wings. And now we're going to glue the wings onto your paper plate like this, okay? So we're gonna glue it on like so. So put a little bit of glue on the end of it, stick it on there. Once you have your wings, now I'm gonna make the eyeballs. So with the eyeball, we're going to get your white paper, and then I'm gonna use, I use a cap of a vitamin C lid now I'm gonna trace around it for the eyes. So we're gonna trace around the lid. So I made my circle and I'm going to cut it. Just cut around it. Oh, I did fold my paper in half because you needed two. You need two eyes. So I folded the paper in half because it makes two eyes. All right, so once you have your eyes, you wanna, I'm gonna, you use your um, black magic marker, okay, and on the circle, you're gonna draw, just draw like a half moon, and then two little circles inside the pupil. So draw a half moon, two little circles. So it's going to, I'm gonna draw a half moon like this. So I drew my half moon, see? And then I just drew a circle and then a little circle, like that. So there's one eyeball. So see how my half moons are like opposite? So the white part of the eye is on the outside of your B, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and color color inside the, um, the half moon part, but color around your circle so that you made those two little circles so you have white still. Don't cover that little circle that you made. See, so I'm coloring, but I'm coloring around the white spots. All right, and so once you do that and you finish coloring, you're gonna color your other eye, all right? So I already colored an eye, the other one. So what we're going to do now is glue them on your bee. So I'm gonna glue the eyeballs on like this, onto the bee. So we'll put a little bit of glue I have one eyeball on, and then we're gonna put on your other eyeball. 
there. So I've got both eyeballs on. Now I'm going to make the little mouth right here. So I'm going to draw a little mouth. There's the mouth. So the last thing we're going to do is make the antennas. So because I didn't have black pipe cleaner, I went ahead and just used paper. So we're going to get your paper and you're going to cut two, two thin strips of the black, okay? So we did that and then you're going to roll it around your scissors or actually better yet you probably want to just roll it around your pencil since that's safer to do so we'll roll it around your pencil like that to give it a little curl okay so now we're going to put glue on the ends and stick it on so there's one antenna and let's glue on the other antenna there's your other antenna there so there's the bee and I would love to see your pictures of bees if you post them. So everyone have a, a happy day and um, enjoy the sunshine while it's out. Bye-bye.